he didn't hit the kid. Uh, nothing happened. All he was trying to do was break it up, and he got hit in the side of the face twice. Tonight, friends of a Lake Ridge High School football coach say there is much more to the story after a player claims that he was punched in the face by that coach. Welcome, everyone, to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Kelly Day. Jeff Giannola is off tonight. Ken Boddy talked to one of Cole's best friends tonight and the lawyer for the player who says he was assaulted. Ken? Kelly, 28 year old Michael James Cole was quite the athlete himself at Lake Ridge. Now a coach, he turned himself in to Lake Oswego police, accused of stepping over the line. Another football practice at Lake Ridge High School, one night after the scuffle on the field that led to the arrest of assistant coach Michael Cole. He's accused of punching 17 year old player Marquise Royster in the face. Michael is uh, actually really down right now. His passion is kids, football, teaching people. Uh, Michael actually takes care of my kids when I'm out of town. Chris Knopf was on the phone with Cole when Cole turned himself into Lake Oswego police on Tuesday. They charge Cole with fourth degree assault and second degree disorderly conduct. When you've got kids out there playing, coaches are to be mentors and to help the students grow and not, uh, not to get in your face and yell and, and disparage them and, and certainly not to hit them. Royster transferred to Lake Ridge in 2011 from Lake Oswego High School, where he was targeted by racist Twitter messages. Things seemed to be going well at practice until witnesses say an altercation began between players, including Royster, and fists started flying. Knopf says Cole was one of the coaches who came in and tried to break things up. He didn't hit the kid. Uh, nothing happened. All he was trying to do was break it up, and he got hit in the side of the face twice. But Royster's mother was at the practice, and she saw it differently. She called 911. It is a rough sport, and, and more often you have uh, scuffles between players, like what was happening initially. Um, it's, it's very uncommon to have a coach, in fact, uh, uh, strike a player, as is alleged in, in this case. Police say Royster had a cut and swollen lip. He declined medical attention. Cole is the offensive line coach. He was released after posting bail, but he's been suspended from coaching for now. The case goes to the district attorney, and the school district is conducting its own internal investigation. Ken Boddy, Coin 6 News.